What's up, guys? I just want to show you these uh, Baja designs. These are the ST Pro, S2 Pros. I'm sorry. Uh, I bought the whole unlimited kit for my Raptor, and I got them all on. Everything hooked up to the uplifter switch is nice, and the I got a 2018 Raptor. Uh, and I ordered these amber lenses. And when I ordered them, I ordered them after I bought the lights, which came with clear lenses. First, they sent me uh, packages that were clear lenses, but they were marked amber. So when I first got those things, I was looking at them like, what the? These things change colors or something when light goes to them? But uh, I was very confused. But it appears that they just put the clear lenses in uh, white packaging. Or uh, in the amber package, but uh, anyway, get my camera set up here. I can't get the damn. I got these uh, lenses in, but when removing the screw or the uh, Allen head bolts, they all stripped. So putting them back in was a pain in the butt. I actually broke this one. This one up here, uh, that one don't even have a bolt head on it anymore. I'm trying to get that thing out of there. They say the Torque is, I think, 27 inch pounds or 28 inch pounds, something like that, which is all high, I think. This is an M3 by four fastener. And uh, I think most M3 bolts are usually torqued at like 19 inch pounds or something. Maybe 19 to 21, I don't know, to get on the old gurgler there and check it out but uh, I can't get these things to come out now they're so stripped uh, actually these ones I got loose I believe nope maybe I didn't maybe they're stripped again but anyway I measured these I measured everything up here with my uh, Michi Toyo calipers these things are calibrated uh, let's see, well they were calibrated, the year is up, they were up in November, so they are like a couple, min couple months out, a couple months out of calibration, anyway, that's all a big money scam anyway, as long as you teach, treat your tools right, but you can see there, these are supposed to be 2.5 millimeter keys, 2.58, which isn't horrible, that's probably within a, some sort of spec, I don't know what the spec is 2.62, so it's getting a little bigger there uh, what was the last one here let's see what this one measures uh, 2.7, that may be where I stripped that one though because I, I remember measuring these when I was, before I even put an allen key in them, I measured them just to see, try to get the tightest fit, because Allen heads, anyone that messes with these Allen heads, know Allen heads suck, man. But that's what those things are measuring. This is my Allen wrench I was using. What's this thing measuring? This thing's probably close. I don't know, maybe not. It's an old cheapo. Can you see? Uh, it's, so that's right on, 2.5. Let's see what the other side is here. Get on it, barely see. Uh, can't get on the thing. There we go. 2.46. Let's see what the other end is. I was using this end as well. Uh, let's show in. 2.49. I mean, this Allen wrench is actually pretty close, surprisingly. This thing, I think I bought a, like a whole set at Lowe's for like 20 bucks. Anyway, as you can see there, the bolts are close. I'd say they were even closer before I stripped them out. Let's see if I can find one here that doesn't look like it's been stripped. I guess one here looks pretty good. Let's, let's see what that one. I mean, even that one's reading high. 2.74. Whoops. There you go, 2.53. I 
I guess what I'm saying, I don't think the, I think they're right as far as for a 2.5 mil. I think what they did was over torque them at the factory. And I sent them an email about this. And uh, a cat re replied back to me saying to try a Torx, jam a Torx in there. Which that is a good little trick for Allen heads if you never get them out. And that's how I ended up breaking this one. I pounded that Torx in there and twisted it and the head of the Allen bolt busted off. Garbage, I tell you, garbage. So anyway, I finally got these back on. The other, uh, this kit, the Unlimited kit comes with six six fog lights for your Raptor. You can get on their website, check it out. And they are bright. Uh, I do like the lights. But, uh, they come all like this. And these things mount on the Raptor like this. So, two of the fog lights, other than these ones, have the bottom fog lens and then the top spot. Well, they're upside down since they came like this. Like this S2 Pro would have been down here and everything when they first came. I had to switch all these covers around. And those bolts are stripped, so I can't even get those off to even switch those lenses around. Uh, but anyway, the problem is these ones quit working. The uh, one went out first. I think it was this one. It died. And I kept unplugging the wires, plugging them back in, thinking I had a bad connection. It finally came back alive. And then both of them went out, and now they won't work. And I checked the uh, switch there. Or I turned the switch on, checked the wires where they connect in these harnesses. But these harnesses seem a little chintzy to me, man. I don't think this is a Baja design harness. Maybe it is, I don't know. I remember something on their warranty page, though. Looks like some rust on there already. I've probably only had these. I got these things right around Thanksgiving of 2018, so... But I probably would have poxy these or something where they go in there. I don't know. It just seems chintzy, man. I think that kit was like $1,400. Garbage. But anyway, these things don't work. I sent them another email saying I need to open up a warranty claim. Send these things back and see what the hell's wrong with them. But anyway, I checked the uh, harness there with the switch on, the uplifter switch. And I'm getting uh, 12 volts and my, I'm getting amps there. I checked with my volt and amp meter. So they're getting power. I don't know what's wrong with them. But uh, I sent them an email. They still haven't responded back. I think that was like three days ago. So I'm waiting for them to get back to me and get these things sent back. But all in all, man, I'm not a fan of these Baja designs. They are way, way overpriced. I, I feel like I had a cheap set of... Uh, light fog lights I bought at AutoZone that I had on my Polaris Razor back in the day. This is like back in 2008. And uh, those things were through every mud hole and never had a problem with them. Spent like 60 bucks on them at AutoZone. Spent $1,400 on a set and they give you these cheap M3 by 4 internal Allen head bolts and uh, or uh, internal hex or Allen Head, whatever you want to call it. And they're junk, man. Uh, they need to tighten up their quality control, or I don't know who's torquing these at their factory. But I think uh, somebody put their whole ass into it because uh, they strip before you can get them loose. And this is Baja's big selling point. They're like, oh, you can change the lens covers yourself. Well, you can't change them if some dick bag over there in your factory has tightened the screws up so so tight where they strip when you try to get them out. I mean, I don't understand it, man. Like I said, not too happy with uh, Baja designs. I, I couldn't I couldn't recommend them. I'm gonna get a set of lights for my. Uh, I got a 2018 Can-Am X3 Turbo R, and I'm going to uh, get a set of lights for it. And I'll probably go with Rigid. Check Rigid's stuff out, but. Uh, See if it's any good, and if it's junk, I'll uh, make another video and let you know to quit supporting these high-end boutique light manufacturers that just give you junk at the end of the day, man. Uh, if they don't work, they're not worth a damn, right? So, uh, I may just end up going back to the old $60 AutoZone specials. 
never had a problem with them. But uh, anyway, that was just my little rant. Hope you guys find this interesting. Uh, I'll get back with you guys if uh, Baja ever sends out any, uh, lets me start a warranty or something on these because this is ridiculous. But that's it for now, guys. Later. Hey guys, one last thing here. I was going to show you the uh, depth of engagement there for uh, these. Probably like one point. 1.7 mil. I thought of focus. 1.73 mil. What is that? Uh, 0 0.0680. What is that? Sixteenth of an inch almost. I don't know. If metric, so I'm measuring everything in metric. Uh, that's not very much depth of engagement, if you ask me. Let's check another one here. That's, yeah, 1.74, 0 .06, 0 .0685, something like that. Again, not much, I mean, you can see what that is right there. Uh, not much engagement. These things are rounded down on the bottom. You probably won't be able to see on camera. But like, when you stick your Allen key in, you're not even gonna get it down in that far. Because where I'm measuring, I'm going to the center there and they're like bellied out down in there. I don't know what the technical term is. It's a dumb potato farmer. But anyway, I mean your key doesn't really even go in very far. It barely even goes in there. These things, I don't know man, they just dropped the ball on these, but anyway, I just wanted to, I forgot to measure that there when I was pulling the measurements with the calipers. So thought I'd do that real quick later.